Hello and welcome back. Hope everybody's nice and warm. My brother from another mother just shot a pig and he said that I can have it. I'm very grateful for that. So tomorrow I'm going to go pick it up. He needs some room for his freezer because he's doing a home kill for one of his cows. So yeah. I'm on babysitting duties today because it's school holidays. He knows something's there. Something that he's been trying to chase since last time. Well, you probably noticed something is that that bow looks familiar. That's actually my bow. I sold it to David a few months back when I was buying GC's collar and um, his um, GPS. So I'm gonna hang it up here on this bar here. And I'm just gonna remove some mats because this is where I do my training. I don't have a blowtorch, so I'm just going to skin it as you do with a deer or a goat, and we'll go like that. And then with the skin, it's going to be a, a good training tool for um, GC as well, for my dog. And there might be one or two parts which aren't that great, so that will be dog food. Um, this is where, that's where the arrow went in. And didn't make a full exit, but that doesn't matter. Did the job. And the only tool that I'm going to be using is a handsaw and a knife. This isn't really a how-to video. This is more like just me doing what it, what is needed, and also not getting a not getting a home kill or butcher person that type of people to come in and do it because it costs too much. There you go. Get used to that. Well, that's exactly what I was trying to do anyway. Just get him sniffing that, chewing on that just so that he's used to grabbing on. Around the leg it's not too bad, but once you get to the back and side it gets quite thick. And just try to keep the meat nice and tidy because they do run around in mud and dirt. Alright, so that's what I'm up to now. Mainly skin. Just going to resharpen my knife and then do some more. Starting to cut it into portions. But I'll chop the head off and use that as a training tool for GC. So David, the person that shot this pig, he's really lucky. He's got a hunting spot right outside his doorstep. So he's been baiting these pigs, been baiting a pig, or some pigs, and if the wind is right, they come around, and all he has to do is just wait for them and just put an arrow through it. Just notice the arrow went all the way through from one rib to the other rib. Quite a powerful bow. So all of that is all the ones that we're going to be cleaning up and freezing it and cooking it up. Over here, that's just a lot of rubbish. 
not really much, too much rubbish, to be quite honest. We've got a bit of fur, which I'm going to put in Gigi's dog box when we're on our way to hunting trips and stuff like that. And that's just dog food, all the yucky stuff, um, bones and stuff like that. And so yeah, that's dog tucker, owl tucker, rubbish, training. I found your broadhead. I don't know how much blade it's supposed to be, whether it's um, two, three or four. He said two. Did he, did he say two? Yeah. Ah. Everything's in the mess, but that's all good, getting sorted. And then going straight into the freezer. That's all done, ready to be defrost when we need it. Now we will be heading back out sometime in a couple of weeks back to that spot where we saw that pig so yeah stay tuned for that one and as for my bow i'm going back to traditional archery probably just stick with that horse bow that i've been using and probably knock down some goats with that so yeah plenty of things to film and um yeah heaps of things to do see you on my next video